My name is Sarah and I work at Monterey County Free Libraries as the Literacy and Volunteer Services Coordinator. And today I would like to lead you in a quick tune-up. So a yoga tune-up for your spring. And please bear with me because some of these things are longer holds, but they're worth it. You can feel frustrated, but just breathe through it. They're worth it. Speaking of which, we're going to start with the hands and wrists. So we'll just start with um, coming into the moment, taking a breath and letting it out. Let's take another breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Third breath. Maybe close the eyes. Feeling the ribs expand as you inhale and exhaling all the air out. Now bringing the wrists up and making circles with them. The hands can be in loose fists. You don't want any clenching. Make sure, by the way, that you're not clenching the jaw or around the eyes or the neck. And then whichever direction you're going, go the other way, which is going to be uncomfortable because it's the non-habitual way that you would go. Inhaling and exhaling as you make the circles, bringing some nice juice to your wrists. And from there, we will reach out with a slight bend in the elbow with the left hand and um, breathing in, we're going to use the thumb for traction on the lowest knuckle and then gently push down with the other fingers to stretch the wrist and the fingers. So that's the pinky. Moving on to the ring finger, again traction with the first knuckle and pulling back with the other fingers. Keep the fingers, the remaining fingers spread wide. Exhaling. This is uncomfortable, but it's a good thing for the scrolling and the typing and the swiping. So. Pulling back, again, traction on that first knuckle, pulling back on the middle finger. Now to the pointer or the index, traction on that first knuckle and pulling back with the other fingers, firmly but gently. Spread the remaining fingers wide, little reminder. Again, now uh, it's a little bit different. You can make a sort of beehive around the thumb and gently pull back. Stretch out through that pinky so that you get a full stretch. <sighs> Feels yucky while it's happening, but it is extreme relief from hand tension. All right, now shake that out. Remember to breathe. All right, now we're going to do the right hand. And if you're right dominant, this is gonna be even worse. All right, thumb on the back of the first knuckle, fingers pulling down gently on the rest of the finger. Open the hand wide. Feeling the stretch definitely in the wrist in the finger, maybe in the palm of the hand, ring finger, back of the finger, back of the knuckle, and pulling back. Now to the middle finger, pull back, little traction between the thumb and then the fingers pulling back.
Again, thumb on the first knuckle, pulling back on the index or the pointer finger. Spread the remaining fingers wide. This one is intense. Yes. Breathe it out. All right, and now the beehive again around the thumb and pulling back on the thumb, spreading out, reaching out through the pinky finger for a nice hand and wrist stretch. Shake it out. All right, to complete the warm up, we will do a few stretches in the shoulders, circles, circling back, resetting from all that sitting and hunching in front of the keyboard or the screen or the gaming console or the phone. You might hear a bunch of rocks in the back of your shoulders and that's okay. Now going the other way, which for me is the uncomfortable way, shrugging it forward. All right, settling into the middle of air. We'll do one last of the warm ups, and that's the Sufi rolls or the um, bowls, sort of circles. Imagine that the rib cage is a scraper, and you're trying to get every last bit of dough out of your bowl, your imaginary bowl around your rib cage. So the scraper is scraping every little bit of dough out of there and then you can go the other way which would probably be the non-habitual way and might be less comfortable. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Nice. All right from here we're going to do some movement. I hope you feel slightly refreshed and ready for the next thing. Thank you. So for our second part of our tune, we will incorporate the entire body. And so we're going to do that starting from a tabletop position. I have a blanket here that I'm going to use to pad my knees. Um, sometimes if you're on your knees for a little bit, they can get uncomfortable, uh, especially if the temperature is not cooperating, which today it is not. So, um, and also just because we're doing work doesn't mean we have to be uncomfortable. So here is the padding I'm going to have for my knees and I'm going to put that here below. Knees are going to be hip width apart and on the ground, resting below the hips and hands are going to be below the elbows, which are below the shoulders and shoulder width apart on the ground and with a slight bend in the elbow here so as not to hyperextend. So we'll come into tabletop position. Take a few breaths here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Maybe wiggle around a little bit. Teenage cat. <laughs> and from here, Inhaling, looking up and dropping the belly. And exhaling, pulling up the spine and dropping the head, maybe touching the chin to the chest. Inhale, exhale. You can go on your own pace here. We'll do a few. Think of opening in the towel position and closing in the cat position. Once you've done a few of these, come back to tabletop and we'll do a slight stretch here, bringing out the left arm and the right leg and a little bit of balance, crunching in knee to elbow. So inhale, stretch out. Exhale, crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, and hand comes down 
knee comes down. Now we'll do the other side. Arm on the right stretches out. Left leg stretches up. Inhale and exhale, crunch. Exhale and exhale. Inhale and bring the hand down, the knee down. Now from here, let's find a nice solid square with the hands and the feet again. Inhale, bringing the left leg out, but this time bringing the foot forward. And from there, you can sort of wiggle into it, move it forward or back. Balance is going to be easier if there's more space between the knee on, in the back and the foot in the front. And inhaling here, arms come up. Nice drifting up in the side waist. Reaching out with the fingers, slight bend in the elbow so as not to hyperextend. And exhale, bring the arms down behind the back and interlace the fingers. We'll take a few breaths here. This is a very dynamic stretch to the shoulders. Um, we also have some balance going on in the pelvis and the legs. And our lungs are very open to receive air. If you're feeling wiggly, maybe knit the ribs together to find some stability in the bottom part and in the core. Inhale on your last inhale, reaching the arms up and exhale, bring the arms down again inside that right foot and we can bring it back to meet the other knee and now we will take an inhale and bring the other knee up and press it through. And again, that doesn't have to be a neat, clean thing. You can help scoop it forward with your hand or wiggle it over to the side of the mat in order to feel balanced and square in the foot and the knee. And then inhale the arms up. Hopefully you remember <laughs> which hand was on top the last time. And as we exhale, will change the interlace of the fingers. Inhaling there, strong stretch across the front of the collarbones. Again, knitting the ribs to feel stable in the core and the pelvis. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. There's a stretch in the quad of the bent leg, of the back leg, and maybe a little bit stretch forward in the front leg onto the foot leg. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale the arms up, last time. And exhale, come down, plant the hands and bring the foot now we can do a little movement here to reset. Resetting is our theme for the day. Wiggle it out and then readjust to come back to sitting. I'm going to take the uh, cross legged pose and we'll do a few breaths before we close for the day. Hopefully you're feeling refreshed and like a bit of an antidote to sitting. Bring the palms of the hands to the knees if that's comfortable. Close the eyes, taking some final deep measured breaths. It was a really good thing to take a little time for yourself today. And it was fun for me to do it with you. We've been doing yoga once a month for a year now together. And I appreciate you joining me. And so... Hands come together, thumbs touch the chest. 
One more breath. And thank you very much for participating with me in a little reset today.